This racist assault on this Asian family is going viral right now, and the perpetrator is claiming that she can't be racist herself because she is half Asian. Let's talk about it. This is going viral, viral right now. Let's run the clip. Let's play her apology. Let's get into some comments, and then let's talk about it. Help. My friend's friend who got into an accident in California received racist remarks and was physically abused by the other driver. Insurance. You're refusing? Are you refusing? Where is your Where is your insurance? You hit my car. I don't give a f about this bitch. You hit my car, so where is your insurance? Where is your insurance? Do you have a driver's license? Are you from America? Do you even have papers? Are you legal to be here? Where is your driver's license? Because I'm asking you, you hit my car. So where is your driver's license? Exactly. I've been asking you for this shit. What? Hey! Get off! Oh my god! Someone, are you guys recording? Oh. That's definitely gonna be a problem. She's hitting. Whoa. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. She's hitting. I, I got her. Oh! Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, oh wow! Oh my god! Shit! Yeah, that's definitely gonna be an issue. Dang! <laughs> apologize for any offense to the Asian community as I am half Filipino. There are so many other ways that I could have asked if he understood me or if there was something wrong with his license or simply waited for the police to get there. I hope you guys understand now that I am not at all racist. Long story short, man, I think this girl Ashley Barkas is in a lot of trouble. Woo! Like a lot of trouble. She's definitely gonna get charged with something. Yes, whether that's a probably a felony to whatever it turns into. I mean, this is a big deal. And um, long story short, I heard she was swerving in and out of traffic, caused a four car pileup. The third car, not even the car that hit her, they get out of the car because their airbags deploy. And then she ends up berating them, going on a tirade and then assaulting them, punching them. And almost, you could argue, getting an attempted murder charge on the guy by pushing him into traffic. Yeah, obviously we don't see what happened before the video starts, but let's just, I mean, based off what we can see, she is a clearly losing it and she's a violent individual or at least she's acting very violent here so we're going to talk about it we're going to give you our own personal takeaways like what can we all learn from this because i know that i don't always love covering all these viral clips but i think that there is something to take away from for sure and i think the fact that she came out and said well guys i can't really be racist against that family i was just mad because i'm half filipino myself that made it get another boost like turbo boost of virality ah! All right, let's talk about, please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys as we get into this. Uh, David, real quick, before we get in the comment section, you know, I think you expect this type of kind of violent behavior from like, I guess, deranged, uh, aggressive men, right? right? But this is a, a girl who looks like she has her whole life ahead of her. She's even like, you know, kind of pretty looking. She tries to be an influencer. Bro, so she has videos on YouTube from like 10 years ago, dancing, singing, rapping, doing yeah. Marvin's Room. She's trying to be an influencer. Like she's on her profile. Look, I'm a boss, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I'm a savage. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess she was being kind of savage in this situation. But yeah, anyways, basically her life is different now. Okay, let's just say that. Yeah, I mean, she violated for sure. Um, the first comment was she should get charged with attempted murder. When she pushes the guy after she knocks the ID out of his hand, he goes to get it. She pushes him in the back. His head almost enters traffic. I mean, that was like the real last straw for me. I was like, you are having disgraceful, disgusting behavior right now. Yeah, so whether or not she really in her heart wanted to push him into traffic I'm not sure about, but regardless, she got an assault charge and that was just a dangerous situation. And you just got to be very careful when you're around cars. And basically, I don't know what's wrong with her, bro. She was not raised right. Somebody said the fact that she tried to explain it away in a TikTok confessional video when she could be pacing, when she could be facing very serious legal consequences is unbelievably self-absorbed Gen Z. Dude, it is so Gen Z to be like, yeah, I just possibly committed a crime but let me go to tiktok you are an idiot man somebody said the heels with the hoodie told me everything i need to know <laughs> hey man long story short i thought she had the manola blanc tims from chics on anyway she Jeez. hangs out there at the mall somebody said i'm filipino myself and i'm ashamed of her and she should go to jail she probably has a lot of trauma from her childhood and is letting it all out in all the wrong ways okay guys filipinos out there do not worry you don't have to claim her 
Okay, yeah. even I don't care if she's half Filipino, if one of her parents is from the Philippines. It's like she's clearly disconnected from that side. She's clearly disconnected from the immigrant experience. She's clearly disconnected from any older Asian person that has an accent that, you know, it has trouble figuring out like how America works. You know, I'm not saying this immigrant family handled this situation perfectly. Maybe, you know, they, they have a language barrier, so it's hard. But whatever she did was like, Ridiculous. It was unbelievable. Somebody said, does this have to do with how the second generation kids always beef with the immigrants? I don't even know. I mean, I think that that's a thing, but I don't know if it's applicable in this particular situation. Somebody said she's only claiming her Asian side now, clearly to deflect the racism allegations. She doesn't even care about that side at all. No, no. I mean, I, I, I think that... Uh just based on everything I've seen, you know, delving into her uh, social media too. I don't yeah, think listen cares. guys, I'm not trying to dox her. I'm not going to give her info out, but I believe from the research that I did and I got more info, but I'm not going to say it. I think she's part white, part Latina, half Filipino. And uh, yeah. Anyway, somebody said the last time I was hit, I asked if everyone was okay and let insurance handle it. What the hell is wrong with society in 2023? Everybody's me, 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 me. She probably was on drugs because that's also big in 2023. What is society doing? You know, I don't know what makes people want to act more outrageous when the cameras come out. Because I would think when the camera's out, that serves as a surveillance camera, essentially, right? And you would act more calmly and that would trigger something and be like, hey, I'm on camera. Everything I'm doing is being watched. Instead of going crazier, you should be wow. like, okay, let's handle this a different way. Uh, do you think it has to do with like, obviously very, I guess, poorly raised people. Sometimes when the cameras come out, it goes into fight or flight, but it causes them to double down on fight. No, sometimes they're like, oh, the camera's out. I don't want to seem like a beach, so I'm going to go out swinging. Ah. Yeah, yeah. When Megan the Stallion said, I'm a savage, that was like, you, you have a miss application there it was clearly misapplied somebody said when the police arrived they actually mocked the family for not being able to handle her together and all getting beat up by her essentially so somebody was like this is so messed up the police handled it so poorly and that police department in la andrew only started to pay special attention to this case once it went hyper viral and all the other clips from people in other lanes of traffic started going viral with more of like a bird's eye view mm, yeah Man, I mean, I do think the video helped show you how wrong she was. Yeah. I think it showed how lopsided it was. Although, obviously, I don't think the family, the family got scratches and stuff, but I, I don't think she was able to, you know, destroy the entire family, obviously. But it was definitely like one woman assaulting everybody, and that's all you need to know. Yeah. That's all you need to and know. And I think that this comment obviously speaks to a more macro cultural movement where people are very displeased with the police for one reason or another or multiple reasons. Somebody said if they would have wrestled her to the ground, would they have gotten in trouble? It seems like in these days, bad people just get away with everything. And even the people who are getting attacked, it's like they got to be watch what they do, even though they were the ones who got attacked. Yeah, I don't know. It's tough. I mean, you just have to, uh, I mean, the best thing is to stay out of those situations. Um, I would say there was about three out of 100%, three out of 100 comments that maybe supported Ashley Barkis. Somebody said, uh, maybe it was the family's fault. We didn't see the whole video yet. I mean, it just pops up on a part that incriminates her, but we don't know what was said before. I mean, that is true, but I think you can tell by the video, it's clearly lopsided. Yeah, and I actually think some of the comments that were defending her came from her friends because of the poor spelling and bad grammar. Yeah, and you have to understand, like, in a car crash, like, when there's, like, four cars that bump each other, and this... By the way, the crash wasn't horrific, by no, the way. No, no, no. It's like fender benders. Yeah, some of the cars that were involved in the crash, their airbags didn't even deploy. Shout out to, I think it's the Toyota Sienna, but the, the airbags deployed on that one. But I guess what it is, it's like, at the end of the day, you know, this family... It's tough for immigrants sometimes because when you're an immigrant family, sometimes you don't feel like comfortable engaging in certain interactions and fighting back another American because you don't know how the law and the justice system is going to work. Right, and, and those you. interactions, like the one that happened here on the freeway on ramp, those rarely, rarely happen in Asia. It is not like a uh, hostile, you know, like training ground right. for this type of environment. Somebody said, if you made me bet money, she has a bipolar disorder. It doesn't excuse anything, but she probably seriously needs a psychological examination. We're in a mental health crisis as a society. So a lot of societal comments as well, of course, Andrew, just micro analysis of the situation. Yeah. Um, Andrew, what is your final takeaway? Does it well, matter that she's half Filipino? I mean, nobody knows. Is she a quarter? Is she half? I mean, it's possible she's from SoCal. I mean, she's from OC, so it's like there's a lot of mixing going on. Uh, you know, it just goes to show you that there's a lot of 
different types of people out there. And and just because she's part Asian, 25%, even if she's 50% Asian, she clearly doesn't care. And she's clearly disconnected from the immigrant experience. And uh, it's obviously... She probably doesn't think Asians are cool or respect yeah, Asians. To be I, honest, I, I, like just based off my research. Yeah, she probably teases other Asians, to be honest. That's how it feels. Um, I think the part about it that bothers me the most is more of the assault on an immigrant family. You're I saying think more than the words. More than the words of her being like, oh, are you legal here, blah, blah, blah. You know, the, I think those hurt, but I think ultimately if you're an immigrant family, like, I don't know, you might like take those comments differently, but I think the assault part is the part that I'm like, whoa. Dude, you took it like beyond man. the levels that anybody should have, and now you're in the wrong. Because had she just left it at the words, you know, you know what I mean? There's there's cancel culture that more cancels people for like their thoughts or like a weird interaction. And then there's this. This is a crime culture. This is like a, a crime. Yeah, you're like a terrible person. Like yeah. she is a terrible person. Yeah, she let it cross over from like just a kind of racial tirade into a racial assault. So that's her fault. And she's gonna have to live with it. I do think I look at all these viral news articles kind of like, public caning because we don't have public caning here right, it's not like, Singapore yeah unlike Singapore where you kind of get whipped or like a, a huge slap on the wrist for doing something bad like everybody coming at her on the internet I think this affecting her job opportunities obviously she tried to be like a pop star singer R&B singer influencer that's not gonna happen anymore I don't think anybody's gonna support you but uh I don't think power 106 is having you at uh whatever yeah funk night. Yeah, and I will I'll say this, you know, just like it, it can be anybody, just because a girl tries to do something on social media and is kind of cute, like they can also be just a terrible person. Everybody can be a terrible person. Let us know what you think in the comment section below, guys. Try to keep it civil, like we said, man. Um, I hope that these incidents just prevent more people in the future from having this type of behavior because we need to keep society together and keep it working. And people got to have a minimum. I'm not even saying you got to have 100 out of 100 respect for everybody. How about a 70 out of 100? This is yeah. like just unbelievable. Yeah, but also for the people out there who are wondering like, wow, if that was my immigrant family, what would I do? What should I do, right? And obviously- uh, you're going to get emotional responses yeah, to that too. Yeah, all teaming like, up to beating her up. I don't know if that's really the, the that could be that maybe your family. If that's civil either. Yeah. yeah, I'm not saying that that's a good idea for the long term either. But I guess what I'm saying is like, it's that conversation to have. It's like, you know, when, when someone is angry and aggressive at you, uh, what are you guys going to do? How are you guys going to handle this situation? So, well, I guess, I guess we'll see how much of a boss B savage Ashley Barkas is possibly in jail. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think. Until next time, we'd hop up, boys. We out. Peace. Peace.